All right, welcome to Build a Cryptocurrency Portfolio with Ruby on Rails. My name is John Elder and I'll be your instructor today. So in this course, we're gonna build this really cool cryptocurrency portfolio app using Ruby on Rails. And we'll be able to add cryptocurrencies, show the current price of them, their current rank, percent change over time. And we'll also be able to keep track of your portfolio. So if you bought a thousand Ripple, we'll be able to keep track of that. See, we've got a thousand Ripple. You'll be able to see what the current value of them is versus what you paid, profit and loss. We'll have a running total total profit and loss, and we'll do all kinds of other things as well. Do a quick look up if you wanna look up, you know, specific currency, things like that. Uh, we'll build a system that you can log in, log out. It'll keep track of new users, let people sign up, edit their account, close their account, all that good stuff. And uh, generally just learn Ruby on Rails while we're doing all this. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna use the coinmarketcap.com API, which is a free API. If you know coinmarketcap, they're the big cryptocurrency website that has all the data that we're gonna use. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna jump right in and get started. And we're gonna be using this cloud development environment. We'll talk about that in the next couple of videos. And and so if you don't have any experience with Ruby on Rails or programming at all, you should be able to keep up. We're gonna walk through everything step by step and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So before we get started, I wanna ask you a quick favor. You to me often ask people to review the site as they're going along. After you watch a couple of videos, a thing will pop up and say, how's it going? Please rate this. Those reviews are public and incredibly important to us. And I know it's a little bit earlier for me to be asking, but if you could pop a four or a five star review when that happens, I would really appreciate that. And in exchange, I'd like to give you this coupon code to my website. This is my website, codemy.com. Let's just show you really quickly because I want to get into the course here, but this has all of my different courses. So if you like this course, you want to check out some of my other courses, you could check this out here. And membership for this thing is normally $49, but in exchange for giving me a good review for this course, I'd like to give you this coupon code. It is super coder, which is very cheesy, I know, but whatever. And it'll knock another $22 off. So you pay just $27 for absolutely all of my courses. And you get all of my courses, all of my future courses, all at no charge. That's a one-time fee. You never pay anything else. It's not monthly. And like I said, every time I release a new course, and I try and release a new course every couple of weeks or so, you get that free as well. I've written several best-selling coding books books at Amazon. You get the PDF version of those for free. You get constant access to me. So if you have questions along the way for anything, I'm always there answering questions. And generally, it's just a lot of fun. So, you know, if I can shamelessly bribe you by giving you that coupon code, I would really appreciate a good review, but uh, I'm not going to harp on about it. That's my lame attempt to get some marketing in there. I'm a really good computer programmer. I am a terrible marketer. <laughs> so I apologize for that, but uh, they tell me that's what I'm supposed to do. So I'll give it a shot. So anyway, let's jump in in the next video. I'm very excited. I hope you enjoy this course a lot. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to learn all kinds of cool stuff, how to connect to a API, how to output this stuff onto the screen. We're using the Bootstrap CSS framework, which is one of probably the most popular CSS framework in the world. Uh, so we show you how to use that in this course. And all in all, it's just going to be a lot of fun. So I think let's jump in right now into the next video and start setting up our development environment. 